There is no beauty in the finest of all your clothes. If you create Sankar and poverty, Kasuba Gandhi, wife of Mahatma Gandhi said, what a beautiful statement. There is no beauty in the finest of all the clothing. When you can, can, cannot share, when you have too many clothing, there will be only dust and cockroaches and rats. You are inviting poverty. You are inviting hunger inside and outside the places. When Mother Teresa says, want to use, want to wash, want to dry, only three clothing is only she allowed them, the people to wear it. Only want to use, and there is you know space in the house. You do not need no, you do not need much in your education system. Also, there is no beauty in the finest of all your education. If you cannot be conscious, if you do not meditate, the culture of the house, the cultural system, if you practice at your home, and if you know to do your meditation, if you know to do your you know, upavasa, if you know to do your mahudhubhrida, that uh, creates the control of your mind. And when you go to the classrooms, when teachers are teaching, everything gets in every cell of your brain. And you have the respect, you go to your classrooms thinking that is a test. Temple, the most purified place you're going in the most purified place you are allowing God you're allowing and the teachers conscious uh, educated things the hardest of the training they've gone through they're trying to transfer they're trying to share it and you take it up with love when you take it up with love and you keep your books beautifully as if it is a holy book then when the examination comes there is no fear there's no poverty there's no Beauty, the finest of all your education, because hunger and poverty. Poverty, when the examination comes, when the answers doesn't flow. Is it not a poverty? When you have to pay your rent, when money is not in your pocket, is it not a poverty? When you are a learning member, you make sure that you keep your money. What is the money? For your food to one side, you keep your rental one side, your this one, that one, everything you keep. And then you make sure one person of money you keep it for your wife's family one person for your family one person for the poor outside you make sure that you have and one for the religious uh, people one person and then the balance when you go around you feel happy in that money inside the money if you're earning 10 rupees you spend five rupees and you get still have five rupees savings and that is the beauty in the finest of all your traditions of earning and when you come back to your houses you just remove your pants, you remove your undergarments, you remove your skirt, you throw left and right, thinking your mom will fold it back, your maid servant fold it back. There's no beauty, the finest of all your education and your dressing. If you throw things left and right like that, it includes there's no beauty, the finest of all your education and your culture and your discipline. If money comes, you earn and you keep throwing your pants here and your shirt. Do you throw your money like this, like your pants and the shirt and the garments and make sure that the maid servant or the road people collect and keep it in the bag? They don't collect and keep it in the bag. If you throw like that, if you throw your pants and the undergarments and the shoes and the socks just like that and the examination comes, you will not be able to collect it up. Use when you have yourself have your control of your hand and the mouth and the mind, the mind will keep what is studied in the brain and when the question comes, answer flows beautifully in your bedroom and your sleeping time also. After you get up, you make sure that the, you're folding your bed sheets and pillows, everything packed exactly in the portion. There's no beauty in the fineness of all your bedrooms if there is hunger and Poverty. If your bedsheets are looking dirty left and right and you made, make for, wait for your mommy and your maid servant to fold it back, there is poverty. You are creating hunger. You will live in poverty. This COVID-19 help you. There are no maid servants coming inside so that you can practice. God has done that. Please make sure the foundation is very strong. When you go to take your bath in the bathroom, you keep your buckets back to put. Not only buckets, buckets are scrubbed and beautiful as if the bucket is looking brand new one. The mugs are scrubbed and cleaned back to position. The soap box is looking so beautiful. Your towels are washed and hanged beautifully. Even the uh, bathroom is um, cleaned and dried beautifully. When you take bath, you, you scrub beautifully so you look healthy to come out. Yes, there is no beauty in the finest of all your eating. Yes, no work, no food. They say there's no work, no food. You No exercise, no food. What's the purpose of you eating when you do not work? If you have not worked properly, do not eat. Because after eating, the body looks so poverty, it's an ugly body, dirty body, where there is fun in that, hunger and poverty in the body. 
make sure no work no food and when your mom makes food or a house people makes food your wife makes food or your sister makes food who makes food you should appreciate you must say oh she this yo is very tasty even if there's no taste oh she this yo is very tasty you must say it's very tasty so they go back and prepare you must appreciate the food and after finishing the food make sure you pick up everything what is spilled outside the plate do not spill anything outside the plate i told do not spill anything outside the plate if you know not to spill anything outside the plate tomorrow morning you will spill outside the pot so please put it back into your place take the plates go to the dishwashing clean it up dry it up and put it back put it back so there is less work if everybody does their home work in the houses if you see a dirt just clean up the area put the chairs and the sofa and the um, bed back into the position so there is less work and there looks beauty for everybody in the house when you when when you are having your food in the house i used to tell my children make sure that the plants and the animals are uh, the pets who are watching they are watching that you are eating your food please make sure first give them the water give them the food then only you must eat if there is a function in the house make sure the neighborhood poor are also given a share or who is the friends are given a share you know i i am put up in indranagar where i run a school for the blind and for the underprivileged i heard in indranagar not a single person will eat not a single house will have food without keeping a share for rakun school there's no beauty finest of all the houses around you if there is hunger and poor if they cannot share with us there is hunger and poor i don't know they must have understood that they are coming and sharing if they can share this country is such a beautiful country there was beauty only thing is a little little uh, communication gap that communication gap you must uh, uh, connect it back when the elders walk into the house do not sit the one leg over the uh, top just get up and say namaste how are you good evening would you like to have a coffee yes respect your education counts uh, poverty and hunger there will be poverty and hunger in your talks and your on beauty adjust the volume just sweet talk on your education helps people to move forward yes 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 the roads in bangalore city can you see potholes the areas dirty and called it capital look at the hospitals this time the chief ministers prime minister involved in trying to find not a single person dies and you see in india more than 60000 people die in a day it seems out of road accidents and many related diseases but in covid 19 hardly anybody died because chief minister prime minister everybody is involved that means there is some problem the the shepherd takes all the sheep to the butcher's house and then he the all the sheep enters from the door and then he comes from the other side and he looks at the other butch other sheep and says look i have taken them to god 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 is accepted they are all going to heaven and the second lord god goes with him and then he again takes them to the inside the room and he comes out from the other side and said no oh, they are all going to heaven yes 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 shepherd you enter the hospital yes back said butchery is happening in the hospital the dead bodies have been carried from the back side if everybody is concentrated there's no beauty finest all the big hospitals if death is happening this time there's no death there is no violence in the villages because the all the liquor shops are closed it's since why don't we continue with such uh, those uh, systems over there make sure there's no beauty in the finest of all the clothing if there is hunger and poverty it's your duty to share one last joke for you grandfather to grandson go hide your go hide your teacher is coming as you bunked school today grandson you go hide i told her you passed away <laughs>